Hey guys, so what am I up to this week? Rangers. I just got back from a marathon mini road trip down to Richmond from Ohio to pick up this bad lad. I was even thinking about calling it Virginia. So I've got another Ranger and I can't just call it the Ranger. But it's the reason I went for it is it's pretty much rust free. All this down here feels real good. Because up here, anybody in Ohio knows what that's going to be like. It's not bad. It's not perfect. There is some little crust on this door. I will probably end up finding a new one. But this is the worst. Well, this is not the worst of it, unfortunately. But there it is. V6 5 speed. Interior needs some work. But shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. Hold on. Hole in it right there. So, I'm going to see what I can do about patching that. I may pay somebody to do that. <laughs> so I'm not a body guy. There's the motor. It's not terrible. I'd start it up for you, but the starter shot. But we did drive it up onto the trailer. But almost every truck I looked at before this one did not come with a freaking battery. You're like, oh yeah, blah, 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 bring a battery. This one comes with a battery. It looks like it's pretty much all here with the exception of the air conditioning pump. So I'm going to see what I can do about locating one of those. So what my goal is for today is to pull the starter out and I'm going to go look at a couple in the local scrapyard and I may grab a starter there. More than likely I'll just buy a new one because it's a starter. Alright, well let's just generally check some things out here and see what we can come up with. First thing I'm going to check for the heck of it washer fluid in it I feel like I'm missing something right here I've got a couple plugs that don't do shit they aren't plugged into anything oil is uh, a little low and dirty let's do a starter Something like that maybe they put a metric one on there This whole terminal sucks. Boom. We've accomplished stuff. I didn't need anything this morning. So, I'm hungry. He's a greasy old bitch. <laughs> no, you don't. This should all still be SAE, right? Well, that's the stupidest thing ever. The bolt goes in from the top. Is it a quarter? Oh no, come back! Come back! It's not coming back. It's gone. All right, I guess we're going with a metric because five eighths is too small and eleven sixteenths is too big. One's loose. Ah. socket. How freaking long is this bolt? It's about that long. Finish the whole assessment of the truck. 
and decide exactly what I'm going to do with it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to play with it for a few months. And then it's going to get sold and I'm going to go try and find one from like Arizona or some shit. Okay, there's that greasy bastard. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, that's part of why it sounded terrible, is his teeth are ugly. Let's get back to the Project Ranger here for a little bit. Um, today we'll probably go to put the starter on it, maybe sweep it out, start cleaning some things. But it is awfully nice day for Ohio in December, so I might take the dog and go hiking after we get the starter in. Alright, well, let's get some... Uh, Get this stuff out of the way and get a jack underneath it, some stands, and starter fry it. Oh, yeah, managed to pick this up at the junkyard yesterday. New fan shroud, new used one, so that'll be good. Dumb. Excuse me. Big lunch. Which is a great idea before you decide to go rolling around underneath your car. Truck, whatever. Well, there's Molly Dog. Are you coming to help? Alright, came with a new bolt, which is cool. I always like to clean my stuff up a bit before I put it back together. Does this affect the operation of this endeavor at all? No. Does it make me feel better? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Alright, so these are metric? Really? I guess that might make sense. The engine was built in Germany. So, uh, it looks like Cologne, but that's probably not how you say it. Alright, so... 17 millimeter. I'm going to see if this will fit over that and it won't. Ooh, ooh, it will. Normally I do this with a heat gun, but I can't find it. That's better. Did I mention I ate too much for lunch? And then I got this so I can see. Neat. Oh, I got a weird cramp. You know what I am going to do? Just to give me a little bit more room, I'm going to take this wheel off. I do believe you're supposed to take these off first. Yeah, she needs some new pads. We'll see how it does when we take it for its first drive as far as uh, how these rotors are. But the rotor doesn't actually look too bad. I wiggled the, did wiggle the wheel. Oh, this has got slip-on rotors. Cool. No, does it? I don't think so. I think that's all one piece. Anyway, but the pads are shot, basically. I'll be able to give it some test drive. Oh, you can't see. But, alright. Then you just kind of, you know, shove her up in there until it feels like it's where it's supposed to be. And then the bolt slides in. Yeah, you feel that greasy bolt go home. And it holds itself up in there. And you know you're onto something. 
Eight days later, the bolt gets tight. Don't be stealing my song now, YouTube. Why do I keep saying YouTube? I mean, it's probably where everybody's gonna watch it, but you never know. There could be like my tube or something come out like Facebook did to MySpace. You guys remember your top ten? Was it top ten? Or was it top six? It was top six. Whatever. Take the socket with you and put it on the next bolt because, you know, that's where you need it. Plug things back in that you unplugged. Okay, grab your tools. Recommend you put them away so you don't keep losing them like I do. Alright, well, I don't know what you guys did or didn't miss before because the battery in the camera. But I got the starter and got the wheel back on. I cleaned up those threads a little bit for uh, that one stud that's missing the lug nut. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to hook the battery back up and see if the starter works. So, you know, it'll be the first time I've ever you know, turn the key to start it. Hell yeah. Well, that's that for today, folks.